for more second round action out of the South region. Penn State and North Carolina set to do battle. Let's send you to New Orleans and join Jim Nance and Billy Packer. Welcome to the Superdome in New Orleans. Penn State and North Carolina fighting it out for the right to travel to Atlanta and the regional and the Sweet 16. The starting lineups, the Crispin brothers from Pittman, New Jersey in the backcourt for the Nittany Lions on the Carolina side. Again, Julius Peppers will start in place of Chris Lang. And Jim, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find a Penn State player who wants this game more than Titus Ivory, the North Carolina native. Always dreamed of playing for the Tar Heels, but never got a look. Now, as a team's top defender, he draws a pretty tough assignment in Joe Forte, but Ivory said to me, revenge has been a long time coming, and today is the day, Jim. All right, Carolina with an easy cruise past uh, Princeton. Wow, and right over the top. Titus Ivory, tough shot. Rebound out to Haywood. Well, well, you really notice the difference in size out here in this game. Haywood playing way above Penn State. Curry more than likely would rather pass than shoot. Haywood already tired. Ivory drives right past Capel and Haywood. Capel, second time. No, but it's Haywood really dominating inside early. Second time already in this game. Beautiful behind the back. Little like Forte. He loves that pull-up jumper. He's got some kind of soft touch. Lang. Lang. Too strong, but followed up by Peppers. Just a lot of size differential here. Peppers and Lang playing down in the baseline. Got it to Klein Her. The assist to Tyler Smith. Be on the same team again, except in some kind of old man's league, maybe. Somewhere down the road. Inside nice. two to Klein Her. Take up some of this lack of inside strength. Lang, the junior from Gastonia, North Carolina. Penn State 0 for 5 from 3. Make it 1 for 6. Joe Crispin bangs it home. That could be And that is saved by Klein Her. Got it over to Titus Ivory. Good job here pushing the ball up the floor. The trailer, Klein Hurd, Smith, and one. Isn't it amazing? Since Haywood went out of the game, Jim, North Carolina lost, has lost all its presence down in the paint. Klein Hurd, they say take it. He's and he gets it. From there. He can pull Haywood out. To do, they get the pace of the game where they want it. Those guys nice. from Temple have been so key in little and shaking good. going on here by Egakese. Man, dish inside. Peppers again, just too strong. Titus Ivory not able to get much going yet. And there he hits the jumper on Forte. He's an excellent defensive player. He looks, he stares him right down. Good job by Ivory. Goes right down on the change of dribble by Forte and takes it away from him. That game. Oh, off the back. Good and play by Ivory. Titus Ivory. Able to finish it. Threw it right off the back of a North Carolina player with their back turn. Smart play. Heads up play. Give himself... Give himself an assist and a basket. A young you man could. who said he wanted to go to North Carolina and nobody gave him a look. They didn't give him a look that time either. He took advantage of it. A little trapping by North Carolina. Watkins, beautiful dish. And Klein Hurt puts Penn State ahead. Peppers in the lane, lost control of it. Banta seeing some big minutes here. That's the ninth turnover by Carolina. And then the turnovers are taking away the advantage they have in regard to rebounding. Ivory connects from three. It'll happen sometimes. Star Heels back within one. Ivory drives back out. Crispin, he likes this shot. Got it. Three-pointer. Penetration and kick out. It'll be there against that zone. Ivory. Oh, beautiful shot. Lions lead by one. You know, he is a player who may not be the most gifted athletically, but gets it done as well as anybody his size in the country. Back and forth we go. Timeout, Carolina. Only three turnovers on the Penn State side. Capo opens up the half with a three. Back in the days when Penn State was in the Atlantic 10. Feinhardt likes that shot, and Haywood doesn't even come out to contest it. Two on the shot clock. Stolen away by Ivory, the tenth steal of the game for the Lions. Klein Hurd puts him back into a tie, and he can go to the line for the lead. 
It is amazing how North Carolina is trying to do everything by rotating the ball with the pass. There's no dribble penetration to the inside. Penn State had numbers. Titus Ivory does a great job right here finding the right man and a good finish by Klein Hurd. Klein Hurd can really move on the break. As I said, 10 double doubles on the year. Very versatile player. And foul the first on Curry. Jossie, his first name. I asked him, it means wonderful. And that's what it must feel like now to be back in front here, opening minutes of the second half. Again, another steal. Turnover. And again, it's Ivory taking the middle. Here comes Klein Hurt. Whoa, behind the back. Ivory on the follow. And Ivory just wanted it more than Forte. Tough shot by Crispin on a fadeaway. And with all due respect to Coach Paterno, there's another Joe in State College, <laughs> and his name is Crispin. And, and over the top of Haywood. It is amazing how early in the ball game, North Carolina really in sync on the lob passes. Nothing there now. Joe Crispin has him up seven. Good help by Smith. Stolen away by John Crispin. Capel given chase. Crispin lays it in for the nine-point lead. His first two of the game. Another really tried to make too big a play there. Jo Joe Crispin pull up three. Quick possessions for the Penn State Nittany Lions. Another turnover. That's three steals in the last minute. Pull up three, John Crispin. What was he thinking about? His brother puts it right back up and in. Matt Doherty's got to call timeout. I don't know what Joseph Forte's doing today, but he's not playing like an All-American, that's for sure. Jerry Dunn and the Penn State Nittany Lions are nine up with 13 to play. Beginning of this ball game. Haywood not on the floor right now for North Carolina. Klein Hurt, spin move, got it to go. That was a brilliant play by Klein Hurt. He just kept bodying up uh, against up uh, Peppers. Going after a quarterback. Now he goes to the hole. Two more for Julius Pepper. Penn State's led by as many as nine in this half. John Crispin. Boy, oh, right, does he shoot a high arcing shot. The bench would have to take the shot right away, just when they're making good plays. Tough pass, but it got there from Klein Hurd to Tate. Very little margin for error, and they got it there. That ball going to people that can put it away right there. Haywood can bring them all the way back from nine down if he sinks the free throw. Over the top, they got it there. But here comes Joe Crispin. His brother's up ahead, but he'll pull back, perhaps. Tyler Smith way outside. Crispin, Crispin tips it in with the Giants around him. How about that? Just like his brother the other night, a sensational play on both ends of the floor. Two Crispins under control. Look at Curry weaving his way for two more. What happens here, sometimes guys who have a lot of confidence in themselves need to just calm down. And oh, Haywood snags it. Oh, and it spins out into the arms of Ivory. That was good hands by Haywood. Put it up a little bit too hard. Two to tie, three for the lead. Crispin fakes. Back outside. Ivory can give him the lead, and he's done it. Boy, Jerry Dunn. By bringing him back into the ball game, has a real leader on the floor. It took a lot of minutes off. Penn State leads last year's final four team by one. With the final four minutes of play here at the South Region. Forte. And what a rebound by Klein Hurd. And Haywood takes him down his fourth. Forte took a bad shot. Oh. North Carolina patient now. sends it out and Joe Crispin and Watkins tips it around Penn State again keeps it alive and then a long possession Billy well the total rebound advantage by North Carolina now it comes down the wire and they can't get one three offensive rebounds by Penn State in that sequence they've got everything spread out so you're getting a lot of long rebounds Tyler Smith, one of the biggest shots of his career, buries it. Nice job by Watkins. And you can see what's happening in North Carolina right now. Penn State, good oh, job by Watkins. Watkins has come in. He kept it alive on the last possession. It makes the steal here with a minute 50 to play. 
Forte eyeing Joe Crispin. They double him up. He goes right by him. Sets up Ivory. Jump shot. Oh, yeah. got it. That's a two. It's ruled a two. Again, you have North Carolina with a big lineup out there not able to cover the court. Cable baseline. Spin back out. Peppers lays it in. Back to a one-point game. A three-point game. 75-72. Penn State. Watkins in the middle. He'll take the shot. Can you believe it? One of the last guys you would expect. Placement. Curry perfect on those two. He has played well in the late going. Now, a much better matchup for North Carolina on the floor now. And that's a push-off called on Forte. Penn State leads by three. At the line, their star, all Big Ten player, Joe Crispin with a one-and-one. One. Penn State led by nine early in this half. Carolina came back to take a lead before. That came the Nittany Lions. And while one brother hits a free throw, the coach's twin, Terry Dunn, applauds. John Crispin sitting at the moment. He had a big three earlier in this half. Two for two. Carolina go back out. Forte, three-pointer. Bounces out. Rebound, Klein Hurd. And he's just going to hold it till he gets fouled. And he gets fouled before they call a jump. Is it on Haywood? Yes, it is. That's all for him, isn't it? Haywood has fouled out. That's his... Forte. Rebound to Crispin. And a foul. And it puts Crispin on the line. And that seals this game. And Jim, what's really interesting, in 54, when Penn State went to the Final Four, do you know another team that's kind of making a story? Southern Cal was in the Final Four. Do we have some mystery names? Both are gone to the Sweet 16. Right. Florida lost on this floor earlier. Forte can't get it. And Watkins chases it down. And the Penn State Nittany Lions are heading to the Sweet 16. <laughs> Joseph Forte walks off the floor, gets congratulated by Crispin, but this wasn't his day. It was all about the Nippy Lions. And <laughs> Clyde Hurd, it's a tradition. When they win, he carries the Nittany Lion right on his back off the floor. Team that relies on a little brotherly love in the backcourt. Well, they have that, Jim, and they also have seniors that did not want to play their last game. Terrific job and a great coaching job by Jerry Dunn. And terrific. And they'll be heading to Atlanta to take on a team from the city by that moniker. Yep. Brotherly Love Temple. They'll meet him in the next round Friday in Atlanta. Titus, Titus Ivory. A dedication game to his mother here in a local New Orleans hospital. Nice way to say, I love you, Mom. Yeah, huh? he said, please tell her. Please tell her I love you. She'll be released tomorrow. Had some stomach problems yesterday, and she's in for observation. <laughs> He's loving it. He's got the arms out. There's a hug on the way. Penn State to the Sweet 16. North Carolina is out. We're going back to New York and to Greg Gumbel in just a moment. Very done. Penn State going to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 1955. I can't imagine how good this one feels. All the glory to God. I tell you, he's great. This, these guys, I can't say enough for them, Bonnie. They have given me all they've got. Uh, they've, they've stuck to the plan uh, throughout this entire tournament. Uh, they played as a unit. We've done one heck of a job defensively. All right, where's Titus? Titus Ivory. Ah. I know you wanted this game. You're from North Carolina. You said you were looking for a revenge, a career high. 21 for you. Thank you. It was a great win. My teammates pulled behind me. They knew how much this meant to me. You know, now I can go back home and have a little bit of bragging rights. Ah. Ah. All right, Jerry, the one thing that sticks out of my mind, turnovers and the way your team capitalized on it. How could you for Yeah, I thought that uh, up, going into the season, we had to find ways to score some easy buckets, and I thought our defense would help us do that. I thought during practice and during the course of the Big Ten season, we got better at it. Jerry, thanks. Congratulations. Well, for the fifth straight Sunday, for the fifth straight Sunday,